welcome to the talk show that is taking GBDA by storm. Today we are joined by Hazel. Give her a round of applause. But I just wanted to look like you today. This is how I visualize you in a lecture hall. Oh dear. <laughs> well, at least it's colorful, you know. Thank you very much. Would you like to state your name and what you do on the Stratford campus for everyone? Sure. My name is Hazel Palmer, and I'm the academic advisor for all students at the Stratford campus. All right, my name's uh, Sebastian Siebel Achenbach, which is the longest name in the university. It's the most difficult name probably that you'll ever encounter. Although I have heard longer names. I've, see, I've actually seen longer names out there. Uh, I, um, I have two roles uh, at the Stratford School. One is I am Associate Director of, uh, of Academic Undergraduates, which means that I am basically the go-to person when there, when there are issues concerning undergraduate uh, schedules, um, issues with uh, fellow students, f issues that uh, happen with, with, or conflicts that might arise, or disputes that might arise with faculty and staff. My second job is I'm a, a, a lecturer. Uh, I teach. I teach uh, a couple of courses. One that uh, all of the students need to, to, uh, to undergo is uh, is GB Day 204, which is on um, project management and uh, and leadership, and uh, so this is the soft side of the business side of the of our program. Right now it is summer. I know you're still working, but how is the summer treating you? It's been really good. Um, I've loved getting to email with incoming students and returning students. Uh, you guys have had lots of questions about what this fall term is going to look like, and I think they're all very valid questions and valid concerns and it's been nice to get to work through that with you and share information as I get it um, and I'm really excited for the fall term to start because we miss you guys a lot. Do you have any hobbies that you do when you're not teaching anything that you're super interested in outside of your teaching environment? Okay um, yes I am a, a regular human being I have interests outside of my work. <laughs> <laughs> um, on a uh, personal level I've got uh, a family, two daughters, um, one teenager, one who's 20. The both of them are wonderful girls, and uh, it's fun to be with them and have 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 uh, uh, play around with them. I, I horse around a lot with my girls. Um, <laughs> so one of the things I've learned to do um, during COVID is bake bread. No. Uh, so, <laughs> I know that's what everyone else is doing, so it's not unique, but. <laughs> Uh, we've been making lots of pizza, lots of sourdough, we made gnocchi, uh, and lots of gardening. Well, I'm not sure if you know the full extent of what we're doing here today, but I do want to share my screen with you. Okay. I am going to take you through a wonderful BuzzFeed quiz. Got it. All right. So this says, which Disney princess are you on the outside and which villain are you on the inside? Are you <laughs> down to play this game with me? <laughs> uh, I, I'm not sure I'm. I can be classified as a princess, but <laughs> we'll. Uh, yeah, we'll play the game. Let's see how far I get here without embar with, without embarrassing myself. Here's the first question: What's usually the first thing you do in the morning? Do you journal, have a coffee, have breakfast, brush your teeth, get dressed, or exercise? Brush my teeth. I have a feeling that Karen, who's another prof, her first thing would have coffee but that's <laughs> assumption. I get dressed first um, and uh, then I brush my teeth. What do you consider to be your best quality? Intelligence, ability to be independent, sense of humor, compassion, your figure or your charm? Uh, independence. Um, of the six there I think humor might be my only redeeming feature. I like that. I would say that for myself, too. Finish the sentence. My friends would say that I'm blank in public and blank in private. Shy and brave, flirty and kind, cold and forgiving, friendly and calculating, loud and combative, and adaptable or decisive. Probably adaptable and decisive. Um, I'd say shy and brave again, if I had a choice. I'm probably yeah. giving myself way too much credit, but there it is. What are you most likely to order for dessert? Cookies, cake, ice cream, a milkshake, a brownie, or I don't like dessert? Uh, definitely cookies. I'm sad that there's not an option for all of them, 
I know. Right. <laughs> um, probably cake. Good choice. Good choice. I don't even know why this one exists. I don't like dessert. That's not. A, that's not like dessert. I mean, they should be banned. Period. You know. Right. Yeah. Get out of here. We don't want them. <laughs> Absolutely. If you could have any job in the world, what would it be? A wildlife photographer, pastry chef, screenwriter, Broadway actor, celebrity stylist, or a museum curator? Probably celebrity stylist. Really? <laughs> yeah. Um, pastry chef. Really? Oh, I could eat. Yeah, I would eat my own my own product. Yep. Pick one thing you can't stand in a roommate. They're messy, passive aggressive, noisy. They eat my food, borrow my stuff without asking, or they always have guests over. So this is funny because I actually had to move in first year because my roommate did a lot of these things. Um, um, yes, but the hardest thing was that um, they were passive aggressive. Wow, okay. Um, I'd probably say passive aggressive because that's hard to figure out exactly what sets them off. Mm -hmm. Which of these heroes would you want to work with on a group project? Hercules, Aladdin, Woody, Wally, Judy Hopps, or Flynn Rider? Wally. Yeah? I love that movie. Okay, but for a group project, could you understand <laughs> Wally is the question? Probably not. <laughs> I don't know any of these guys except for Aladdin, because my girls were listened or watched Aladdin. So, right. um, I mean, I'm in a little bit of a disadvantage here. Let's let's play it safe. I'll, I'll I'll work with the lad. He seems like a decent sort of bloke. Pick something you wish you were better at. You wish you were more patient, generous, funnier, a better leader, more organized, or more disciplined. Mm, probably more patient. I feel like it's always a good thing to be or to have more of. Okay, there are times when I wish I were more patient. To be honest. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Finally, which magical artifact would be most useful? A lamp, a flying carpet, an unbeatable sword, hair that gives you eternal youth, a trident that controls the ocean, or a spell book? Probably an unbeatable sword. Whoa. A lot. Yeah. How and there's no option for all of the above. <laughs> yeah, all of them would be nice, wouldn't they? Yeah. Um... How about a flying carpet just to uh, get around? All right. You are Mulan on the outside and Yzma on the inside. Do you know what that is? I love Mulan, so I'm happy about that. That's good. All right. Yep. You got your answers. So on the inside, you are Jasmine. On the outside, you are Mother Gothel, which means I believe she was the bad guy in the movie Tangled. Do you uh, think that this description matches you? I think the first half makes sense. I, I don't think I secretly resent people on the inside. Fair enough. Okay. Does that sound like you? Did they get it right? Or are you uh, thinking, you know what, BuzzFeed, you're not correct? Uh, I don't think that hits me that much. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't think uh, I do things because it benefits me or uh, increases my sense of self. I don't think that's the first thing that comes to my mind or that motivates me when I make decisions like this. Yeah. Is there anything else you want the students to know just in general? If there's any final words you want to say or anything that you want to just get out there, this is the time. Yeah, I just would want to say if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out. There's no question that's too small or no question that it's too silly. Like, I'd rather you reach out and then have an answer than just be holding it in. So you can call me, message me on Teams, or send an email, and I'd be happy to chat.